what is up you guys look at all of these beautiful rhododendrons right behind me right here we're at the uh, shad spot on the river it's spring here in oregon so the shad are starting to move up into the rivers and when the shad start to move up into the rivers the striped bass follow them so we're going to try to get into a couple of shad this afternoon take them down try to get into a couple of striped bass tonight i think it's going to be a good adventure stay tuned you're watching the bite big storm just rolled in just dumped a bunch of rain down come on rain get out of here we got a long night ahead of us but anyway we finally hopefully this fish right here will catch us a big striper tonight it's gonna make some nice little uh chunk baits but poor man's starving right there stoke let's go get some stripers perfect timing to set up the shack while the night squeezed out the rest of the daylight, we went from chasing prey to hunting the predators. Striped bass were introduced to the West Coast by train in 1879 from New Jersey. Legend has it, some rich dude from the West visited the East Coast and fell in love with the fishery so much, he wanted to bring it to his side of the country. The fishery not only succeeded, he's on a nice one. It exploded. He's going down river. Yeah, that's a beauty. First one of the night. Oh, he gulped it. Yeah, he gulped it. So you guys, it's pretty classic to get your lines uh, crossed when you're fishing all up close to each other like this. But I don't think I've ever actually hooked another person's hook like I just did right here. <laughs> what are the this is this is me literally catching Chris's hook out of the water out there. And it could have drifted over it and eventually and slid it. into but it. Still, yeah, there's but still, there's only the leader length that it could have done that's that. That's kind of amazing that they were just... Bell ringers continued throughout the night. Some were released back to the river, while others found themselves released into the cooler. Steve just got a nice tap over there. Oh, another yeah, one in the books. Like that, another little striper in the books. With the fire blazing, we traded stories of life and legends while passing knowledge down to the next generation. Once more at a time, waiting for the next bell. This is the wackest s'more anybody's ever <laughs> it, handed it, me. It's, <laughs> bye, it's bye. literally raw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, brutal. That's, oh, a, yeah. that's a good fish, right? Yeah. That might be a big fish. Oh, it's a good yeah. fish, dude. Oh, yeah. It's a big fish. Hey, buddy. Is it? Yeah. Hey. That's not me. Hey, oh, my God, boys. Whoa. It Ooh, just God. jumped. It's fucking Whoa, huge. it's a big fish. It's a big it's fish. A big, big Someone fish. get the net. Lou, you want to or somebody reel, you want to reel this one in, Steve? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah get get all of them, Steve, if you come up would. In here. Just little by little, get all of them. Will you get that white rod first, too, Louie? Just reel that in. Dude, that's a nice Dude, fish, Dude, it just Chris. jumped out of the water. Ooh. Dude, heck yeah. Dude, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang, it's down there. Definitely acting like a striper. Well, like, I'm gonna... Like, laying sideways. That's out of the water, so... Dude, it's heavy. This one? Yep. Dude, that's a in. nice fish. Watch out, Louie, coming in. I think it's going up river, dude. You think so? Yeah. He hasn't done anything coming else, out, but I felt the weight of him when he jumped out of the water. Let's go down. Yeah, why don't you get down? I guess to wait till he gets that out. Kind of oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, dude, he's running up river. Okay. That's crazy, man. Steve, do you want to get the next rods that are up river hey, from us? Yeah, that's, that's me. Do you, want to, do you want to get this next rod up? Oh, Bro. Right here. Take that, take it. Bro. Dude, oh my gosh. Look at this shit, dude. Go underneath this. Dude, hey. You might want to run after it, dude. Yep. Run after it. Hang on, hang on. He's going back down. He's going back down. He's straight out from us. He's going back down. Get that one in, Steve, please. Yes, sir. Holy shit, bro. He's not stopping. Good thing I just pulled on me. Dude, Chris. 
Oh my hey, God. what about my poles down there? Yep, yep. He's going straight across the river. Trying to slow down. Is that a sturgeon, a dude? No. This is a huge fish, boys. I'm putting a little brakes on him because I don't have much line. Oh! No! He just spool you? No, he broke it. Oh my god. He almost spooled me though. No. Big fish that you missed. You're never going to know exactly what it was. There's no way to ever, ever really redeem that moment. Wow. That was a giant fish, dude. That was that big 50 pound range, huh? Dude. I don't even know what to say. That was 50 pound braid. They busted. Oh my no god, dude. dude. Oh my god. What did you just pick. hook on? Something what? that just. In the actual hell. Something that just broke 50 pound braid like it was nothing really. Dude, that thing was insane. Dude, when it jumped out, I could feel like all the weight of the fish. The splash was so loud. And then in that last run, it was. It just. Dude, it was over there. Ah. Sun's coming up on us, guys. Still getting some nice little taps. Chris and Sage are passed out in that van. Me and Louie are still up manning the rods. Uh, I think Chris is ready to hop up and grab a big fish if one happens to hit. I think he's still uh, a little sore from missing that monster earlier. That was a ginormous fish. Um, you can you can tell just by the way it was moving his rod and hearing the splash, and um, that was a big that was a big big fish. So hopefully we can't get redeemed and still get into something nice. Fish are still biting, so big fish are in these waters. <laughs>